Hello again. Today we're going to do a short tutorial on a C Sharp WPF. Uh, we're going to open up C Sharp 2010 Express here, hit New Project. We're going to go to WPF Application. Okay. And um, again, uh, the main difference between WPF Application and Windows Forms Application is that WPF uses XAML, X A M L. That's Extensible Application Markup Language. Let's type in Hello World here. Click OK. The main reason that XAML makes Windows Forms kind of obsolete in many cases, and the only reason that Windows Forms is still being used, is that to use a WPF application, you need to have the .NET framework, I believe, above 2.0, or I'm, I think the safe bet, I think, is probably above 3.5, which, generally speaking, really isn't very difficult to install. But a lot of corporations, of course, have um, you know download, uh, download right problems and things like that so um, that's why it hasn't taken off yet but I'm pretty sure that WPF is going to be the next generation because it really allows for a lot more robust interface development as we can see here we have the toolbox on the left hand side we have the properties box in the lower right and the solution explorer in the upper right if for any reason one of these boxes is not uh, there t for you, um, I would uh, just go ahead and click here for the toolbox. We have the properties window and we have the solution explorer right here. Okay, so we have our main window here. We can just rename this Hello World Tutorial. When I click here, it's right reflected right there as well as within the XAML. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and drop a button in here. Okay. We're going to rename the button within our properties window. As you can see the properties window is kind of important. In fact, these three windows uh, on either the one on either side and two on the other side are, are very important. So make sure you have those up and, uh, and on. So let's hit here for our content. Let's uh, right click me. Click over here. We have click me. Now let's double click on the button just like in VB. And we have all of our code pop up. Okay. And for all of you who are not familiar at all with C Sharp, um, these are all the uh, the beginning lines that kind of uh, the kind of uh, shorten the amount of code you have to write. So rather than having to write system dot blank dot blank, if you type using system, then you can then omit um, uh, the word system in the future. Basically, is all that means. Okay. So we have our private void button in here, and all we're going to write here is message box. And we're going to have our autocomplete just by hitting tab message box dot show. Hello world. Done. Hit the obligatory uh, semicolon. And that's it. Now we're going to run. Click me. Hello world. And of course, this is the air list in the bottom, and it'll work with you. It'll tell you what you're missing. For instance, if this uh, semicolon was not there and I tried to run this, it's uh, telling me put a semicolon in there. So it's all very intuitive. Uh, next week, we're going to be going over some uh, additional uh, SQL development. Thanks.